Please don't try to figure out who I am. I don't want you to do that. I just need to know that people like you exist. Like if you met me, you wouldn't think I was the weird kid who spent time in the hospital. And I wouldn't make you nervous. I hope it's okay for me to think that. And I need to turn things around. On the real Avengers, Hulk gives it away. Oh, that was awesome. So, to become an Avenger, are there like trials or any of you? Just don't do anything I would do. And definitely don't do anything I wouldn't do. There's a little gray area in there, and that's where you operate. Listen, I know school sucks. The list in the top? No. She probably stops staring before it gets creepy, though. Too late. You guys are losers. I know you want to save the world, but you're not ready yet. This is my chance to prove myself. I'm messing with me. I will kill you and everybody you love. What the hell is that? What the hell are you wearing? It's my suit. Where's the case? What okay. case? Didn't you see the case? What? A minor upgrade from the Tony Stark. Oh, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Who am I? You sure you want to know? If somebody told you I was just your average ordinary guy, not a care in the world, somebody lied. Who am I? I'm Spider-Man. Get to say thank you this time.
Sorry, Sarah, New Spider-Man Homecoming Photo Vulture Details Revealed Yesterday we showed you the trailer preview for Spider-Man Homecoming with the full trailer set to arrive later today. While we wait for the footage to debut tonight during Jimmy Kimmel Live, a photo has also surfaced featuring Tom Holland in his full Spider-Man costume. Along with more details from the actor himself. We also get some new insight into Peter's burgeoning relationship with his mentor, Tony Stark, Robert Downey Jr., who has given his costume an upgrade. Along with details about the primary villain, Vulture, Michael Keaton. Last month, unused concept art from Captain America. Civil War showed that the Spider-Man beacon Tony Stark gave Peter Parker initially included a social media function. A message from Tony Stark asked Peter to swing by Avengers Tower for some costume upgrades. That bit was apparently saved for Spider-Man Homecoming. John Favreau's Happy Hogan has arranged for Peter to get his new costume in a hotel room, a suit that has webbed wings built in. While we don't get to see these wings in action here. USA Today spoke with Tom Holland, who says fans will see a much different version of Spider-Man this time around. This is really a movie where Spider-Man's not the finished article. 
He really does learn and he makes massive mistakes. It's nice to see a kid do that and then try to rectify those mistakes. Marvel Studios President Kevin Feige teases that. With Tony Stark's upgraded suit, Spider-Man can do a lot more than he even realizes right now. Adding that fans begin to see just how much Tony Stark loves bells and whistles. This report also reveals that Peter Parker is attending a high school for gifted kids with Tom Holland teasing that the movie is more a character piece about this kid who's struggling to talk to girls and also struggling to save the city. The movie begins with Peter Parker returning to his normal life in Queens. In his sophomore year of high school, here's what co-producer Eric Hauserman Carroll had to say. He literally just went to Europe with the coolest clique of them all. And now he's back with the academic decathlon and the math leaps and going. What am I doing here? The confirmation that Peter Parker is a high school sophomore may lend credence to some earlier rumors which claimed that Spider-Man Homecoming will kick off a new trilogy. With each film representing a year of his high school career, we have also known from the get-go that this reboot will skip the origin story involving the radioactive spider and the death of Uncle Ben. It was recently confirmed that Michael Keaton is playing the villainous Adrian Toomes aka Vulture, who Tom Holland teases is quite horrifying from the moment he's introduced. The first time we see the Vulture is terrifying. It's like a horror movie, really scary, very intense and shocking, long before Vulture was confirmed. There had been rumors that Vulture would become the villain for this standalone Spidey film, and it seems that the studio's approach to villains may have changed a bit with this movie. Director John Watts revealed that Vulture mirrors Peter Parker's quest, in that they are both normal people who become something much bigger, albeit on different ends of the spectrum. Here's what the director had to say below. It's fun to think that if Spider-Man is a regular kid who becomes a superhero, there's got to be a bunch of regular guys who become supervillains. 2. The supporting cast includes Zendaya playing a character named Michelle, while Tony Revolori is playing Flash Thompson, Jacob Batalon is playing Ned Leeds and Laura Harrier is playing Liz Allen. John Watts directs from a script by John Francis Daly and Jonathan M. Goldstein, with Kevin Feige and Amy Pascal producing. Take a look at the new photo from Spider-Man Homecoming. And keep your eyes peeled for the first trailer debuting later tonight, with Jimmy Kimmel kicking things off on ABC at 11.35pm EST, PST.